In this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite man beaters in Madden 23. Really simple setup, but we got a kind of a con uh, or kind of a fun little ag piece to this. It's going to teach you how to really be effective with an aggressive catch. That's also going to help you combat a lot of zone coverage that you're going to see um, when they start to notice that this is a really good man beater. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you join our, our Patreon if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook. Uh, we release new videos here on the YouTube channel for you guys for free every single day, but our Patreon is where we really get in depth with our ebooks and our schemes and explaining not only what to do, but why you do it, when you do it, and how we also have film rooms in there that actually break down, you know, real gameplay of why I call what when, right? So if you want to check all that stuff out, the link to the Patreons in the description. We have 13 offensive and defensive ebooks as of today for Madden 23, and we're continuing to add more content to the Patreon every single week. So again, if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description. But want to jump in here. So Pat's Y N. This is only found in two playbooks. I want to say it's Raiders playbook and Patriots playbook. It's one of the reasons why you might want to be in these playbooks if you're running trips tied in is mainly for this play. Um, and this year, this play is really powerful. Um, so let's just go ahead and get on the field here. You want to put your best receiver right here. If you have short and elite right here, really going to help you a lot with this play. Um, so just an FYI. And Pat's Y in. So the only setup that we're going to do is we're just going to block our running back. That's it. Literally just block your running back. That's all you need to do. And what you'll see here is this route to Chris Godwin is really glitchy. A lot of times he'll light up and for whatever reason the jam won't happen. So you'll see like right here you're seeing how consistent this is. And you're going to get about seven yards uh, with this little out route. It's really simple. Um, but man is it really effective. So again you see here now that time it didn't work. Now if it doesn't work, what you want to look to is you want to look to your wheel. Um, so you see here, it works probably 90% of the time. It, just, it mainly just depends on your short route running rating and your, um, like what ability you put out there. That's why I think short and elite is really important. Slotomatic's okay, uh, but short and elite really makes this better, okay? Now, if you ever see, like, the in this example, we're getting jammed, um, if you ever see something like this, you can high point outside. A lot of times he won't drop it, or a lot of times the defender will at least not be able to make him play on the ball. So if it's ever close, you could just high point this outside and live with the consequences, okay? Um, but there, it makes it harder for them to intercept it. Now, what most people do defensively is they will shade over top. Well, when they shade over top, this becomes a really, really powerful route. Um, as you can see right there, five yards turns into 30 yards. Uh, when they shade over top, separation is much, much more consistent. So you'll see here, and again, it's very common for people to shade over top. Um, that's I get screamed at by a three-man rush at a dollar, even though I'm blocking six. Classic practice mode. Uh, but anyways, you'll see here, there he goes again. Boom. Free form outside pass lead, 15 yards. Really good. Now, let's say that you want to work the wheel route game. All you're going to do with this wheel route, this is my favorite route to aggressive catch in the game. We're going to high ball, pass lead up and outside, and then you're going to click onto him and swerve catch. And basically, you can click onto him, swerve him in inside, if you will, and get kind of inside position. And then you're going to hit Y to aggressive catch. So right there, boom, you see that animation right there. That is a really powerful animation and if you have a big body receiver i'm not doing this with mike evans right julio bulio jones who's not that great in madden um this year just because he's slow he's like he's not as good as he's been in years past it's just insane how good this is boom and you if you trust this route this route is very re rewarding um again just high ball once you kind of see he has isolated space High ball, pass lead outside. Now, um, this also will oftentimes create a natural pick and rub uh, for your post and your wheel, okay, uh, which is going to be helpful for the post and the wheel. So um, your next read on this is going to be your skinny post. Does your post get inside position? If it does, pass lead inside. Boom. Okay. I, um, You can, if you want to, smart route your post and then block your running back. That will save. That will give you really good timing. So you see in here, okay, he didn't have the position. We shouldn't have thrown that ball. Short out elite is going to make this 
post really good. Okay, um, short out elite is going to make this post really good. There you see he's got that inside position. I think post routes this year, you want to throw them a little bit like you want to throw them a little bit sooner than maybe you people we've been doing like right right once we see we get inside position. Honestly, like post is going to win the inside. So like in this example again, you'll see here like if I just throw it right here, boom. I'm not free forming. I'm just throwing an inside pass lead, and I find that. That is not a bad read by any means. Just quick throwing these posts uh, against man coverage. I think that they're super underrated. So this play has so much you can do to beat man really quick in the play, and you still have this really, really good and really powerful aggressive catch. Now, um, the aggressive catch works best like that right there. that Because the DB just doesn't animate. So you're not going to get a knockout ability. You're not going to get anything. Um you know, so anyway, just boom. I could throw it out here if I want to. I just find that's a little early um, most of the time. And you're seeing press man. Press man here is probably the best way to defend this, honestly. Um, but most people aren't going to have defenders over there. Like, they're not going to have two defenders over there. A lot of times, and if you wait on this, um, if you wait on this ball, he's going to be isolated one-on-one. -on -one. And isolating the receiver one-on-one, -on -one, and, and again, in Mutt, you're going to see a little bit more consistency because they're going to have, you know, abilities. They're going to have better height. They're going to, like, this is where Calvin Johnson's at for me. Um, I find a great deal of consistency with this play. Um, boom. You know, but anyway. If the wheel's open or if the, if the wheel seems covered, throw the post route. Throw the post route, okay? Now, um, the main reason we want to have this post, or the last read on the play, is if they are throwing zones outside, that's going to mean the middle of the field is open. So maybe they go over there or whatever. This is just mainly to hold their user, but this backside in is actually pretty good. Again, Rudolph's not the best, but if you have short and elite on that player, he's going to get a little bit better separation, of course. So just kind of keep that in mind. This backside in route is literally the only purpose of the route is to keep the user in the middle of the field. Um, and if they don't stay in the middle of the field, then you should be able to throw that when he cuts the inside. Okay? Fairly straightforward. Um, but now let's get into some zone stuff because this actually is really good against zone too. So the way zone works this year, this um, they don't get outside very well. So you can actually throw this um, with like an outside pass lead and have a pretty good deal of success. So um, we'll start with cover four. Cover four is probably the best zone. So just high point, pass lead outside, and again, you're one-on-one, -on -one, right? Um, you're one-on-one. -on -one. As I said, cover four I think is the best, but against cover three you're going to see this is really, really good. Um, the other thing you can do is with when you see zone, don't be so tempted to click on. Uh, don't even be so tempted necessarily to highball it. So you see here, open zone, I'll just throw it, um, and again, you, you kind of want to have set feet lead, you want the ball to come out a little bit faster velocity wise, and with cover four, we might need to honestly wait a little bit more than normal, but you're just trying to like get this thing, you know, kind of right in there, now he's one on one with a corner, okay, and again, cover four is the best zone, you're going to see against cover three what I'm talking about in just a second, but cover four, to me, does the best job. Um, honestly, you kind of need to throw it like right in there and kind of get this outside back shoulder. But the other thing that you want to note about cover four is a lot of times they're going to be playing hard flats out of a cover four. Uh, so you'll see here that this guy will be a little bit more, you know, one-on-one -on -one than, he current, than he was previously. Okay, so you see they're not super great against cover four on that specific route. If you are going to get cover four, you know, typically what's going to be open is, um, you know, your in route right there. Your post should be open for a one play touchdown if you have time. And cover four is a coverage that a lot of people like to run where you should have a lot of time. So I'll show you again. If it's cover four, it should be a one play touchdown. You'll see right here. Boom. Boom. What? Or at least a big play. So that's a really good play against cover four. But against cover three... Um, what's interesting is this. So you'll see here, I'll have a lot more success with this. Just boom, outside, outside pass lead. The corner on the outside and an outside third is going to get a lot more, uh, manipulated by this, uh, by this post. So you see here now, see how that's open to the outside. 
And again, I got to work a little bit on this. You might want to work on this a little bit in practice mode, but essentially you want to like free form and then pass it outside. And you want that right there. That's the animation that's really hard to stop because of the fact that these cover threes um, are going to be so far out leveraged the outside. So you see here, and you can, if you want to try to throw it like right in that little window, I will say agging a cover three is really good. Like just act this ag against cover three. Part of this would be better if I had Mike Evans, cause he's just a little bit better of an aggressive catch player, but you see, there's this, this window that we can hit against cover three that we can't quite hit against cover four. Okay. Um, against cover three, you're still going to have a really good chance to bomb them. So if it is cover three, you'll see here, I'm getting shedded, but you'll see, you'll have a pretty decent shot, um, to bomb them over the top. So I'll show you here, you got your in route and then they actually match on, uh, in cover three a little better, but the main thing is you have your wheel, um, against cover three most people if you think about it when they're doing an outside third though they're doing it out of man so you're going to get a third you're going to get a cross man right something like this if you get something like this um your out route is open but this wheel is still going to be one-on-one -on -one or have a good chance so kind of keep that in mind but the main thing you want to use this for is for man um specifically for you know, those times where you're getting these one-on-ones. Um, against cover two, this is really a easy read. You know, once you see cover two, they're going to squat down this year like nobody's business on the flat routes. So you should be able to hit this wheel pretty much every time. And if it does match him, you can ag him. Okay, normally it doesn't. Um, soft squats are really broken this year right now. So normally it's going to play more like a cloud flat. And what you'll see is he'll kind of get in this little nice pocket and you can hit that over the top of a cover two. So the best way to defend this play is actually cover three, but cover three gives you a small window where you can hit this wheel kind of up and out right there. And you want to just kind of let the computer make the play, honestly. A lot of times you'll get that little overcatch uh, basket catch animation. So that's Pat's YN. It's one of my favorite plays. Really simple play against man, but really effective. Um, really good against the cover zero meta. If you guys want to get my full trips tied in ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon, and you'll get access to all 13 of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to those ebooks, which we're dropping pretty much every single week of the Madden 23 season. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.